We talk a lot about video editing software here on the VidPro Mom channel, but we're usually talking about creating YouTube videos or even Facebook videos. But the time has come to branch out a little bit and talk about some of the other social platforms out there that are taking part in the rapidly expanding medium of video. How do you create videos for social media that might be square, might be landscape, might be portrait, and how do you do that with software that's geared for beginners? That's what we're gonna cover today. My name is Meredith Marsh, and I wanna give you the best and easiest video editing software out there for editing your social media videos because they are not all created equal. If you've been a part of my channel for a while now, thank you for being a regular subscriber. If you're not, hit that subscribe button. But you may know that I'm a big fan of Adobe Premiere Pro because you can edit any dimension, any size video with Premiere Pro, but it's really not geared for beginners. But before I get into that, I think you're gonna love the social video blueprint that I created specifically with layout ideas and dimensions for repurposing your videos across the different social media platforms. You can grab the social video blueprint for free over at socialvideoblueprint.com. It's a downloadable, printable guide for content creators who wanna reach way more people with social video content without spending way more time editing your videos. And I put a link down in the description below. So if you are gonna be repurposing videos or creating multi-platform video content, these are my favorite pieces of software to get that done. Now I already mentioned Adobe Premiere Pro, but it's not exactly geared for beginners. You can use it, you can make any dimension or size video that you want with Premiere Pro, but it's not really beginner friendly. Um, however, Adobe recently came out with Adobe Premiere Rush, and I have a couple of tutorials on this channel already that walk you through step by step. But what I love about Premiere Rush, it's designed to create social video content for YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, there's so many, right? And with Premiere Rush, you can edit your videos one time, maybe edit your YouTube version, and then repurpose it for all these other dimensions. And it makes it so easy, it's so simple to use, it's perfect for beginners, and it's actually available for Mac and PC and you can use it on your phone or your iPad. It's included in the Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, but if you wanna check it out for free, you can actually do that without paying anything, and I'll put a link below to that. Another option for editing on your desktop is Filmora, and Filmora is actually pretty popular among beginner video editors. There's a lot of bells and whistles there, but it's not too complicated, and you can choose the dimensions of your project before you create it. You can do uh, horizontal, you can do portrait, you can do um, square, and you just choose those before you actually start your project and you should be good to go. And if you like editing videos on your phone or your iPad, I highly recommend you check out LumaFusion. It's a very robust video editing app. I have promised to do a tutorial here on this channel. I will do that sometime soon. Uh, but it's very robust. It's not a pain in the butt to use, which some some mobile editing apps are kind of finicky. So those are my top three video editing platforms for beginners for editing social media videos. That's not all there is out there. You could try Final Cut Pro if you have that available to you. You can choose whatever custom dimensions you want with that. There's also Animoto, which is a web-based video editing platform. Also allows you to choose portrait or horizontal videos. And if you have Camtasia or ScreenFlow, which is software you can use to record your desktop for like a screencast, you can also edit your videos in there and you can choose any dimensions you want for those projects as well. Speaking of dimensions for your social media videos, I put the current dimensions for landscape, vertical, and square videos inside of the social video blueprint that I mentioned earlier. And when you download that, you'll also see a special invitation to my social video workshop as well. And if you want to see Adobe Premiere Rush in action, I have a couple of videos over here walking you through step-by-step step, beginning to end exactly how Premiere Rush works on the desktop and the iPhone. And hit subscribe on your way out so we can stay in touch.